In this video, I'm going to show the working of a question from the chapter relation. The question says that show that the relation R in a set of R. So here the first R indicating the relation R and second R is a set of real numbers. And the relation is defined as AB such that A is less than or equal to B square. And we need to prove that it is neither reflexive nor symmetric or not transitive. Now, as you know that in order to prove this, it is not reflexive. We need to show that uh, A, A does not belongs to R. A comma A does not belongs to R is what we need to show. Now, in such a case, we just give an example which uh, validate that A comma A does not belongs to R. So I'm going to take say A as half, right? A as half. And uh, if I place this on this relation, replacing A and B with half, what do we get? This is half and this is half square, which is one by four, right? Which is one by four. So clearly one by four is, that is one fourth is not less than equal to, or we can say that half is not less than equal to, right? In fact, it is more than one fourth. So this implies, this implies that half comma half does not belongs to the relation R. Hence we'll say it is not reflexive. Now coming to the next, that is uh, in order to prove this is not uh, symmetric. Again, we are going to give a uh, one set of an example such that what we are going to show here that uh, we will show that AB belongs to R, but we are, but BA, BA does not belongs to R. So for that, as uh, so a very simple example, you can uh, give it, let's say, for example, we can take one four, we can say that one four belongs to R as, as you know that one is less than equal to square of four. But if I flip the order, that means if I write four one, you'll say that it does not belongs to R. As you know that four is not less than equal to one square as one square is one. Hence it is not symmetric. Now the difficult part is uh, transitive, transitivity. And uh, what I have observed that if you remember a triplet of a number triplet, you'll find it very easy than uh, doing a hit and trial method. So the triplet uh, should be taken in this way, right? What I do, I take a number, say I, I take a number three, and then what I do, I reduce it by one. And the third number that is C, right? ABC, as you know that we need to take ABC. So we take a number C such that, which is half of the first, that is say three by two. As very easy and important as well, let's say, once again, if I explain you, as you know, in order to prove that it is not transitive, once again, in order to prove this is not transitive, we are going to show that AB belongs to R and BC also belongs to R. And finally show that AC does not belongs to R, right? This is what we need to show. And therefore we need to take ABC in a manner like I took A as a number say three, then B reducing A this by one digit, that is two, right? Reducing it by one. And I'll take C as half of A. If you remember this triplet, you will be finding it easy to do. Let's say I'm going to show that AB belongs to R, right? AB belongs to R as I can see that A is A, A, A three, two, belongs to R, as you can see that, as you can see that three is less than equal to two square, right? That is four, right? This is four. And we are going to show that two comma three by two, that is BC here, BC, right? BC also belongs to R. As you can see that two is less than equal to square of, three by two, right? Three by two. You should note that the square of three by two is 
9 by 4, which is less than 2. But then we have to show that AC does not belongs to R. So A being this, C being this. I'm going to show that AC does not belongs to R. That's because, as you know, that as 3 square 3 is not less than equal to 9 by 4. 9 by 4 is 2 point something, and that is not uh, greater than or equal to 3, or conversely, we can say that 3 is not less than 9 by 4. So once again, reviewing this, as I said in, uh, in the beginning, proving it not reflexive is easy and uh, not symmetric is also easy. But then for proving it not transitive can be difficult. But in case if you remember this triplet, right, you'll find it easy to do. So how the triplet should be chosen? Starting with our digit A and reducing the other digit by one. Let's say I took A as three and B is two. Then C should be taken, which is half of A. And therefore you can prove that AB belongs to R and BC also belongs to R, but you will find that AC does not belongs to R. This is how this question can be solved.